Welcome to Mystery Mike. Thank you all for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about shed hunting. And when I say shed hunting, I mean hunting for antlers that fell off the deer. That's what I mean when I talk about shed hunting. This shed here is the best shed that I have ever found. I don't know if you can see it like that, but it's a nine pointer. And I went out shed on, and I was out for quite some time. And it was coming towards the end of the day when I was done hunting for sheds, and I looked off at a distance. I seen something that was real white and I just put it off for maybe a tulip branch, a tulip tree branch that the bark came off of and it looked real white and I was thinking, oh, that's all that is. And as I got closer, sure enough, I found a real nice antler. And I was thinking, well, what are the chances of finding the other side? Because usually when you find one, you don't find the other one because this could have fell off here. He could have dropped it off the next day. Who knows? And by the way, these antlers can stay on the deer for as long as May. May 1st, actually, they can lose them as early. Actually, they can lose them as early. These antlers can be lost as early as November and they can stay on as long as May 1st when the little nubs start coming up can push them off and that's how long they can stay on. It varies and depends on the deer. But uh, anyway, so I found that one and I was thinking, boy, what are the chances of finding the other one? Well, I went about 50 feet and sure enough, the other one was laying there. Boy, that was really a nice find and I was very happy and I found these uh, some time ago. I never found a shed bigger than this. This is my biggest shed I ever found and I'm not 100% sure but that November I'm pretty sure I seen this deer behind the house back in the field. They were rabbit hunting. Uh, there was a couple people rabbit hunting way back behind the house so I went down in the field just to see what was up and by the way I love to hear those dogs run those rabbits that's a lot of fun rabbit hunts a lot of fun if you get a couple guys and a couple dogs oh man you talk about fun but anyway they were rabbit hunting back here so I went on back and as I went on back I am pretty sure this is the buck I seen I mean because they scared it up and it ran up towards me and then it ran away and I seen those antlers and I think it was but anyway I also want to show you this mark here I guess you can see that mark that mark right there see that mark I'm not 100% sure but when he was growing these antlers and these antlers were soft I have an electric fence going around the field to keep the cattle in. He must have hit that because that's about the same size of the wire. And that looks like that's what happened. That wire got caught up in there. So that's what I think happened. And I found these at the end of March. I usually like to go out at the end of March looking for antlers. I feel as though and it depends on where you're located in the country. But here in Maryland, I think a lot of the deer late February lose a lot of their antlers. But I still like going towards the end of March. That seems when I find them at the most. And like I said, I found other ones, but never this big. And I mean, this is the, this is the beginning of May. You still can go out and find them, but once the uh, forest starts greening up, it's hard to spot them. And then you have the squirrels and the rabbits that love to gnaw on this stuff. And you can see where right here, where it was either a rabbit or a squirrel gnawing on it. And oh, it looks like he was doing a little bit of chewing right there. And let me see. Well, he broke that off there. really a nice antler there and 
See you.